Today on the channel, like a young gober pile, we say Shazam with Shazam, Gold Label, McFarlane, Walmart, DC versus Vampires. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Welcome back to the channel for another DC vs. Vampires McFarlane Toys Gold Label DC Multiverse Unboxing. In today's video, we got one of the all-timers. We got Shazam. But for all your Shazam needs, better hit Walmart. But for everything else under the sun, DJC Collectibles. Use discount code ADOFFDJC to save 8% off your entire order. Gotta get a deal out there. We know how that goes and we know how this review is going to go. Is we're going to take a look at the packaging, we're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And DC vs. Vampires, possibly my favorite DC McFarlane subline. I think it might be. I'd have put pen to the old paper. You know me, I'm a sucker for translucent glow-in-the-dark plastic. But something about these scary vampire figures is pretty cool. We've had Robin. We've had Batman. We've had Superman. We've had Joker. We've had The Flash, kind of. Uh, we've had a lot of different characters in this line. And I'm here for the build-out on this one. And it's a pretty fun line. We get maybe two, three of these figures a year, something like that. Just a very cool, slow and steady wins the race. There's something to enjoy about that uh, slow pace on a line. Especially if you're just collecting maybe this one or just a couple of lines. Uh, it doesn't hurt the wallet as much when you got one of these just a couple of times a year instead of ten figures every single week like McFarlane does. As we know, Todd from the couch, of course. But of course, Shazam, another all-time classic out there, but this time, Vampire Rise. So let's dive into it. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what old Gomer Pyle would say about this. And we know what Gomer Pyle would say. Shazam! 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 Exactly right. Shazam all day long. But you got the gold label right there, of course. What do we got the age on here? 12 and up, Mark Summers from the couch. Yes! One man off Broadway's own Mark Summers on the couch today. 12 and up. Should be 18 and up. These vampire figures scary. Gonna give somebody some nightmares. Better watch out for that. 22 points articulation. DC Multiverse Shazam down here. Shazam DC versus Vampires. Shazam on this side. Then on the back, got some beautiful art there of Vampire Shazam. A darkness to this one. Obviously, he's a vampire. Should have some darkness to him. And we're going to yank him out of the package here. I've never read the story. I've read the gist of it a couple of times. Can I get this out of the package? What are we doing here? What are we doing? There we go. See you later. Put some spin on it. Goodbye. Uh, hopefully the story is a little bit better on the back of the pack. Oh, rookie. Just straight up rookie. Straight up first timer unboxer right here. No doubt about it. I'm going to pull this card out here. Going to try to keep it as nice as possible. Want it to grade a 10. See you later. Goodbye. Maybe not. Maybe not. Got the DC McFarland stand. Oh, no rookies here. Professional. See you later. Goodbye. Bam. See you later. Goodbye. DC McFarland stand. Seen it before. We'll see it again. But let's read this card. Let's see what's going on with Shazam right here. Real name Billy Batson. Possessing the powers of the living lightning, Billy Batson is an unlikely hero. A cocky, delinquent foster child constantly grappling with the responsibilities that come with his immense powers as the keeper of the magic. And I believe, Mark Summers, you're a keeper of the magic as well. I've seen your not uh, tricks over there. We've shown them a few times here on the channel. We won't show them again, Mark. We don't want to over overuse your magic tricks here. But uh, <laughs> magician extraordinaire over there on the couch, man of many, many talents. Billy is still a teenager, and Shazam is the idolized, grown-up version of him. At time, the responsibilities of being the last standard bearer of the Council of Eternity can seem impossible to live up to. However, Billy's foster siblings always have his back, and after a rocky start to their relationship, so does the Justice League. What he lacks in experience, he makes up in for in courage and soon become known as Earth's Mightiest Mortal. Tells us absolutely zero about this vampire story. What are we doing, McFarlane? Let's get some better copyright over there. If you need to have me do it, I'll do it for figures. How about that? You just give me the figures, I'll write the copyright. I can do a better job than that one right there. There's no doubt. No doubt. Uh, very disappointed in that. We want to hear why he's a vampire. What happened? Give us the story. Now we got to Google it. Nobody wants to Google if they don't have to. There it is, Plastic Prison, of course. And, of course, Twist Ties. Can't have a McFarlane toy figure without Twist Tie in this day and age. Locked around the waist, locked around the ankles. 
Uh, just a tough time. And Todd, you obviously love to tie people up. Do you do that in your personal life as well? Do you tie people up around the office, uh, maybe at home? Uh, you're kind of addicted to these clip strips, it seems like, at this point. No? No comment from the couch. An old wiggly toes Todd, so who knows? Got that Cambodian tape. What, were you, I remember you told us a long time ago you were on a mission. Uh, you were touring the entire world, and he was like had one of those like Indiana Jones hats on and everything. He's touring the world, touring tape factories all over. And then somebody told him about this one off the beaten path in the inner workings of Cambodia, deep in the jungles of Cambodia. They said, there's a tape facility, but you don't want to go there, Todd. It's too dangerous. Don't check Check out that tape. But Todd said, pulled his hat down and said, nothing scares me. I'm Todd McFarlane. You know who I am. And he went deep into the jungles of Cambodia and learned the secrets of their tape making. And believe it or not, the tape out of humans. Cannibals deep in Cambodia making tape out of human leftovers. And that's where the tape from McFarlane comes. You can fact check it. I wouldn't do it, but it is Cambodian cannibal tape. That's where Todd gets all this tape from. Mark Summers even fact checked that from the couch a while back and it all panned out. So just take my word for it. Take my word for it. And take my word for Shazam as well. See you later. Goodbye. Shazam out of the package. Ready to go. Two fists of vampire fury. You know when the teeth just don't work? The fists got to come out. That's what vampires do do. But now we got old Shazam out of the package looking absolutely wild. Definitely looks like Shazam. You know who it is out of the package. But the head all gray like a gargoyle. Living that goyle life. Got those big old teeth. Not your uh, usual vampire teeth, but he does got some big old teeth there. Almost Nosferatu style teeth here. Got the big pompadour up top, man. He's going to listen to some rockabilly along the way. He's going to throw on some stray cats, maybe. Who knows? Red eyes full of evil. Full of evil in those red eyes, no doubt about it. And then he's got crazy ears going on too, man. He's went all vampire. He went full vampire. When you go full vampire, there's no turning back. Uh, that's what Shazam's got there. Torn and tattered cape somewhere. Billy D. Williams, a.k.a. Lando Calrissian, great friend of the channel. He's just sitting there like this. Oh, these kids, I'm not going to be here forever. These kids are never going to learn. And when I'm gone, who knows what's going to happen. And you're lucky, Billy D, because I'm going to keep up the secrets of the cape long after you're gone. Mark my words. Mark my words. Somebody's got to champion it. Uh, we got the Shazam logo right there on the chest. But you got blood mixed in the yellow. It's a tough day at the office, of course. Got the Shazam costume throughout. And a little bit more of a maroon, darker red. A little bit more darkness with this vampire, as you can imagine. Love the hands here. There's no way. You know me. I love a fist. Love is a fist. Mr. Bungle told me that many years ago when I was in elementary school. But they were wrong right here because love is these claw hands here with all the blood caked on them. Definitely nightmare fuel here. And we're not too far away from Halloween. Halloween would be the perfect time to bring these out into the living room for Halloween decorations. You could do that if you wanted to. He does got the Vampire Intercontinental Championship title belt here around his waist. Looking good. Gold boots down below. A little bit of shin guard action. Even vampires do go to the Terry Steinbach School of Shin Guard Protection. You got to. Of course, got the gauntlets there on the forearm as well in gold. Arms all the way around for us here. Do got a little butterfly shoulder. Bicep cut, double jointed, pinned elbows, hands removable back forth, side to side, but why would you ever not use these hands? Definitely nightmare fuel there. Head back forth, side to side, upper hula hoop, traditional waist, a little bit of movement there, big old vampire splits, legs go up, double jointed knees, no real boot cut, ankles back forth, side to side, up and down, and then of course you get that McFarlane toe articulation. You gotta have the toe articulation if you're playing with Todd McFarlane and his toys. You also have to have the clip ties, right, Todd? Oh, yes, you do. Fits on a McFarlane stand right there. Shazam all day long. But never seen a Shazam like this. And I actually liked the first Shazam movie uh, from a few years back. I never did get around to watching the second one. I would I would not be opposed to that. If I could find time away from uh, my terrible horror movies and things like that I like to watch. But well, that's neither here nor there. We'll get to that eventually one day. But Shazam, man, this is a must-have figure. Put it with your Nightwings, your Robins, your Batmans, your Jokers, your Supermans. Speaking of Superman, got him right here. Didn't want to bring the whole group out. The Green Lantern was a good one as well. We've had quite a few good ones uh, in this line. Just a very, very fun line. We'll never forget the epic meltdown, though, on the channel when the Batman broke right here at the table. Oh, it just breaks my blood boil right now, but uh, gotta be careful. You don't want that blood boiling too hard when you got some vampires around you. They can sniff that a mile away. But really, really fun. Definitely a must-have pickup for me and probably a lot of you guys and gals. Never forget the gals out there. 
a fun, fun one is the Shazam figure. Check it out at Walmart's right now. Should have no problem getting this if you do want this. So there it is, Shazam Walmart Gold Label. DC versus Vampires exclusive. What are your guys' thoughts on this one? A pickup, a pass, a long game, a no game? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day. And then some. We got even more content for you, of course, over on Patreon. Patreon, the best way to support this YouTube channel and all the content it does bring. You can also support the channel at presentees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget social media, Sir Paul64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Shazam, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.